Good morning. Uh, welcome to uh, our little get together of memorial here for uh, Veterans Day. First, I'd like to uh, introduce our chaplain who will give you a, a start off with a prayer. If you could remove your hats, please. Uncovered. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together and remember our veterans and those in the armed services at this time. Lord, we ask that you protect them and bring them home safely. And all of our veterans who uh, suffer from trials and tribulations from their time of service, that you bring healing upon them and bring healing upon all the families. Especially when we're one of those, remember those soldiers who just lost their lives in that tragic, tragic event down south of Fort Hood. In your name we pray, amen. First, I'd like to thank uh, Jerry Owens here for setting up the uh, PA system. Jerry uh, is kind of in charge of uh, Victory Park here, uh, Victory Park Veterans Association. And uh, he's the one that uh, uh, has uh, the bricks around the tank uh, set up for the um, veterans. Uh, my name is Bob Hillsman. I was born and raised in Norwood, Ohio. I've been with the American Legion about 10 years. And uh, it's a privilege for me to be the uh, master ceremonies here. I just have a few things to say and uh, we end up with a uh, rifle salute. We're going to shoot uh, three rifles off, blanks of course, uh, to commemorate the uh, our fallen heroes. Um, first, uh, I'm going to get into uh, Veterans Day, why they call it Veterans Day, Armistice Day. Uh, it was first called Armistice Day until 1954 and they changed to Veterans Day. Uh, called an armistice because at the end of World War I, they signed a, an armistice. It wasn't really the treaty, but it was an armistice saying they would all stop fighting and start talking about peace. Uh, this happened at uh, on the November 11th, and uh, in, uh, in November 11th, that would be 11-11, uh, and it was officially going to be 11 o'clock in the morning. The point of interest was. Uh, the uh, agreement was signed at nine or five o'clock in the morning. And they thought it'd take six hours for the armies to all be notified and uh, cease fire, and that would be 11 o'clock in the morning. So it was 11 o'clock in the morning on the 11th of November. A little point of interest. Uh, what I want to talk about was uh, why we got into the war. I was reading something about Woodrow Wilson, and uh, six months before he asked Congress to. Uh, declare war on Germany, he was totally against it. But uh, Germany uh, wasn't that uh, peace-loving at the time, and they would not have any talks, and they actually stepped up the uh, unrestricted submarine warfare against Britain to try to knock Britain out of the war. And we wasn't worried about the United States coming to war because we only had about 100,000 troops. Well, it didn't work. Uh, they hung in there, and the United States came in, and they uh, uh, defeated uh, Germany, and that's what it was all about. Uh, the uh, veterans that we're talking to are there's veterans who served their country, there's some veterans who served the country in a time of war, and then there's the veterans who really got shot at. And uh, uh, I was never shot at, but I am in the American Legion to support the people who got shot at support the people who died and to carry on the traditions of uh, Veterans Association of the United States. Um, all right, that's about all I have to say, except uh, uh, this is a continuing thing we have uh, every year. And so you'd always count us being here at 11 o'clock in the morning. We also have memorial service on Memorial, on mem uh, memorial Day, which is a a bigger celebration or commencement. Um, we uh, appreciate you coming here, and uh, we uh, would like if anybody out there has anything to say or they uh, want to walk up and introduce themselves. Uh, right now, I'd like to have all the uh, veterans out there raise your right hand so we can salute everybody. Okay, thank you, and. Uh, uh, right now is a 
day of uh, special uh, commemoration because we're at war and uh, we've, uh, we're very proud of our troops. Now I'd like to hear the uh, chaplain say, uh, sure, does anybody don't want to say anything else? Okay. Hey, chaplain, could you come over and uh, uh, say another prayer for us? All right, we're going to have a uh, rifle salute first. It came back up in his mind whether he wanted to hear me talk or not, and I, a couple of things I'd like to say. I think we're letting our country go to pot. Had all those people down in Fort Hood die for nothing. The FBI had the man that done the shooting under their radar for six months. Now everybody is pointing the finger at everybody else. That seems to be the only thing we can do. And they got a, had a good man that done the shooting, had a major. I guess we promoted him to show him that America is the place to live. And then our president goes down to Fort Hood, which is a good thing to do. But the general down there said that they had determined that this man was all on his own. Nobody had anything else to do with it. But the president goes down and says, I will assure you there will be a full-term investigation on this. What's to investigate? Our general says there's nobody else involved. That seemed to be our whole problem in this country. We want to blame everything on everybody else. The FBI that's had this guy under their wing or under their radar was watching somebody that had nothing to do with nothing. But they was watching them. That's the way they always do. Way watch somebody else that ain't doing nothing. And let the guy that wants to do what he wants to. The Twin Towers. A little bit of FBI agent down here sent a load up the tires. These guys that's taking this training down here need to be investigated. Well, after the twin towers are already down, they get a, that school gets a note from the FBI up here authorizing them to train these guys down there that doesn't blow up the buildings. So our country is really on the ball. I think I'll shut up. Okay. You just had to get off your chest.
Somebody should be calling 911 and telling them you guys. <laughs> thing I forgot to do, any veteran watching this show today, maybe when it comes on TV, I want to personally thank you for your service to our country. You too, brother. Well, I guess we're going to have to call it quick for the day. Can't get nobody to say, one of you ladies, you want to say something? Well, thanks for coming out. I guess we might well go back home. Thank you very much. We'll be here next year.